thanks for joining me, Annabella from Belly Yoga. Um, today I'm just doing a little um, practice just to relieve stress. So probably quite good to do it um, in the middle of your day. Just take a break from your desk, from working, if you're working from home maybe. Um, or at the end of the day when you just want to take a few moments to calm down and relax. So I'm sitting on a cushion. If you do have a cushion close by, maybe just keeping it handy or sitting on it, um, just that's where you may need it towards the end of the practice. So as always, coming into a nice comfortable seated position, doesn't have to be with your legs crossed, whatever comfy position is for you, could be straight legs, out to the side, whatever feels good for you, or it could even be lying down if that feels better. So just take a few moments, just to start bringing awareness to your body, I'm just starting to slow down the breath. So gently close in your eyes. If you do find a bit uncomfortable with your eyes closed, especially if you are doing this in the afternoon, maybe just keep soft eyes. So you're just having a very gentle gaze down. And just starting to settle in for a few moments. So connecting to your body, connecting to your breath. And just let go of thoughts for the next half hour or so. So give ourselves some love and attention. So having the spine nice and long, those sit bones nicely rooted down on the floor, the mat or cushion. The shoulders are relaxed, but just slightly drawn back, just so your chest stays nice and open. And just letting go of any tension in the face. Any tension through the trunk of the body, any tension in the legs, just relaxing it out in the feet, the arms, the hands. If you do want to add um, some essential oils to help you soothe away the stress, I would recommend four drops of lavender and two of frankincense or otherwise three drops of lavender and one of copaiba. But as always with essential oils, just adjusting it to your preference. So if you're starting out, less is more, and then you can always build up. So you start enjoying the fragrance and the benefits. So soothing and grounding oils, just to bring some calmness and stillness. As we start noticing our breath, starting to take longer inhales, longer exhales. So today we're going to do a breath count and this is the kind of breath I want us to try and keep through the practice. So as we inhale we're going to See if we can inhale for the count of four as you draw the breath from your belly to your chest, still staying relaxed. And then when you exhale, just letting the breath go for a longer count of five or six. So I'm just using these numbers as a starting point and you can adjust your breath going for longer time or less time depending on how you feel. But as long as your exhale is a couple more counts longer than your inhale. So we really relaxing the body and mind. So as we get ready to take our next breath in for one, two, three, four, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, or even six, inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale, five, three, four, three, two, one, and just continue with your own count, with your own breath, and adjusting your breath, your count, continuing to stay relaxed, making sure there's no tension, especially as you draw the breath from the belly, there's no tension in the belly, and you're nice and relaxed and supported as you exhale. 
you may find as you do this for a little bit longer, a few more rounds, that your breath will start come start coming in for a longer count, and you'll be able to let go for a longer count. It's a really good breath to calm the mind, calm the body, bring some quiet, and some focus. So if you do get into those stressful situations, just taking a moment, just a few minutes to do this breath count, just helps you let go of thoughts, just tunes back into yourself, a quiet time. Let's take a few more rounds. Noticing how your body feels down the neck. Just let it gently relax. Any particular areas of tension, just try and draw that breath count into that place. And then just gently letting it relax as you exhale. Two more rounds. Keeping that face relaxed. And then just letting go of the counting and just continue that relaxed breath. We bring our hands together in front of our heart. Let's give our palms a nice brisk rub as we start getting ready to begin the practice. And placing those palms over our eyes as we open our eyes to the light. Taking our hands away, we begin with our greeting, love and peace, namaste. Thank you for being here and taking this time for yourselves. As always, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't, just so you get notified as soon as I put up a new um, practice. So let's uncross and recross our legs. I'm just going to do a little bit of stretching, just warming up the spine as we take our right hand over to the side, left hand over the head, and then just a gentle movement, top hand just gently opens up the side of the neck as we draw that right ear to the right shoulder. Sorry, it will be your left side for my right side. Feeling the release of the stretch. And then come back to center and switching sides. Left hand goes down, the right hand takes that ear to the shoulder. And just keep reaching that palm down to the mat. Not there yet. Lengthening, releasing with a nice stretch. And then come back to center. We'll interlace those fingers behind our head. Just placing our hands as we open up the chest, staying up nice and tall. Take a nice big breath in as we look up towards the ceiling. Draw those shoulders back. And then as we exhale, chin to the chest. Bring those elbows towards each other. Two more rounds. Inhaling up. Exhaling, rounding up those shoulders. Final time. Really opening up the top of the back. And then exhaling, rounding up. Good, and release. Let's come up onto our knees. We'll just do a few rounds of cat cow, getting some movement in that spine. Shoulder, um, wrist come under shoulders, knees hip distance apart, rooting down through those fingers. As we inhale, draw the shoulder blades back, opening up the chest as we look up. Tailbone goes up. And then stop taking the tailbone back as we exhale. We're rounding up the spine and bringing ourselves forward again. Inhaling, opening up the chest, tailbone up. And then as we exhale, taking it back and scooping it under as we come back to a neutral spine. A few more rounds. Inhaling, taking the spine back as we exhale, drawing back to center. Two more rounds with your own breath in your own time. Just getting that little movement in as we inhale, a nice big stretch. 
stretch. And as we exhale, taking it slightly back and tucking it under. Then come back to a neutral spine as we bring that right foot through between the hands. The left hand stays on the mat as the right one goes up to the ceiling. The chair falls to a sit here. And then release, hand comes back to the mat and we swish inside, so right leg down, left one through, right hand on the mat, inhaling left hand. Take a nice gaze up to the fingers or gazing down, whatever feels comfortable for your neck. Hand comes down as we come through into a forward bend, just hanging here for a moment. Get that weight evenly between your feet. Hands come to the shins, halfway lift as we look forward. Next breath, soften the knees and roll those shoulders as we use our core to bring us all the way up, hands to the heart. We'll just do one round of sun salutation just to warm us up before we continue. So starting off in Sandasa, nice strong mountain pose, opening up the chest. Take a nice big stretch back as we draw that navel in, reaching all the way back. Come through into a forward bend, hands on the mat as we take the right foot back. Knee on the mat, chest up, chin up. So we'll take it nice and slowly, really connecting, noticing as we move through the boot poses, knee stacked over heels, step back down dog. And we'll shift the weight forward as we bring the knee to the mat, bend those elbows, chest and chin touches down. Take a moment here. If this feels too much, then do go straight down onto your belly. Next breath, slide the legs back. Lift the chest and baby cobra and relax the shoulders. We're just doing it all in slow motion, taking our time, really connecting back to down dog. Nice big step through with that right foot between the hands as the left knee comes down. Chest up, looking ahead. The chin is not collapsing in and it's not gazing up, it's just staying in neutral into a forward bend. Start rooting down through those feet, roll the shoulders, hands come back to the heart. And let's end with the left side, reaching back. Into a forward bend. Left foot goes back, knees on the mat, chest up, chin up. Maybe come into a crescent moon, bringing the arms up and just take a little back bend, gazing at those fingers, relaxing those shoulders. Hands come to the mat as we step back down to it. Shifting that weight forward, bring the knees down, touching down with chest and chin. Keep those elbows close to the side of your body. Let the legs lengthen back as the chest lifts. The baby or full cobra. Relaxing the glutes. Tuck the toes under back to down dog. Stepping through with that left foot. Right knee comes down. Chest up, chin up. Crescent moon, bringing the arms up, gazing up. Into a forward bend. And start coming up as we root down through our feet. Hands come all the way back to our heart. And continuing into dusting. So rooting down through those feet. We'll just take a moment here. Really noticing where the weight is. Nice and even through the heels, the toes, sides of the feet. Interlace those fingers as we take the palms up to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders and then take a stretch to one side. Keep a rooting down, keep that chest lifted. Nice length through the side of the body. Come back to center and to the other side. This time coming back to center, right angle pose, hinging forward from the hips, letting go of the hands as we lengthen forward. We're trying to go into like a number seven, soften the knees, and try and flatten that back out as you reach forward, draw the shoulders back, just to help you flatten the top of your back out, lengthen that spine, draw that navel in. Keep rooting down through your feet, hands go behind your back, Interlace those fingers and then just let yourselves fold in. Soften the knees a bit more so you can get the chest close to the top of your thighs, the front of your thighs. Squeeze those shoulder blades, open up the chest and just draw that neck, those shoulder blades down. 
few breaths here. And then we're going to let go of the arms, let them come down in front of you. And we're just going to hang here in a forward bend. Again, re totally relax that neck. We're just going to take a few breaths here. Again, soften the knees a bit more if you want to get the top of your chest as close to your thighs. So you're really folding in and relaxing. We're going to take about five long, deep breaths here. So if you can connect back to that long breath that we did at the beginning as we take our first round of breath. You're just feeling yourself relax that bit more. And really releasing the tension through the base of the spine. Just giving the heart a break. As we take our final breath. This pose and then gently relax. Bring the hands back down, placing those palms just a bit underneath or just slightly ahead of your shoulders. We're going to step back into down dog. So root down through those hands, keeping loads of space between your fingers and just take a nice step back into down dog. Nice inverted V shape and flattening out the top of the back. Just drawing that navel up. Lengthening that spine, keeping the knees slightly soft. First down dog of the day. Just take a moment here. Five breaths. And each breath, just feel yourself fall into the pose. Noticing if the weight is equal through hands and feet. And that energy center, navel, connecting them back. Two more rounds. Keeping that space soft. Shoulders active this time. And our final round of breath. Good. Bring the knees down to the mat and we're going to come into pigeon. So we're going to bring our right knee towards our wrist and then the um, ankle towards the opposite wrist and straighten the back leg. Again, if you have a cushion, you can place it underneath that right hip just to give you support. And we're trying to keep the hips square. If you do struggle in pigeon to stay here, you can always sit sideways. Just sit on the side of your leg and just stay more in this pose. Or you can come into upside down pigeon instead, which is this way. You're still getting that stretch through and through that right um leg through that hamstring so just take a moment to find your version whatever works for you or you could be even sitting on a chair and doing exactly the same thing just holding the leg if you want to do it sitting on a chair if that's more comfortable so keep the hips nice and square and just starting to relax so try not to sink into that right side or into the left just stay nice and Tall here, relax through the shoulders. Let's do those rounds of breath. Just feel your tension releasing through your breath. Three more rounds. Take our final round. And gently relax. And we're going to come and shift down onto our forearms. Just take a few moments on our forearms. We're not going to go all the way down. Just staying here. Still staying quite lifted and engaged through the hips, through the pelvis. So we're not falling completely down. And relax. And let those shoulders relax and the face. And just keep that nice long breath going for two more rounds. 
you exhale just that little bit longer than you inhale. Next breath, let's walk those hands up again. And we're just going to shift our weight to the right side just to bring that back leg through. We're going to come into a one legged forward bend. So just moving the right foot out the way and then bring that right, that left leg round and adjust the right one. So it's coming, the sole of the foot is coming to the inside of the leg. Again, adjust your sit bone so we're nice and tall. We're going to sit on your cushion just to give you a bit more space through the back of your body. And then that makes it super easy as you're already in that downward motion. Foot can be flexed or relaxed, just make sure the ankle's not dropping out. Toe to navel if you can, keep a nice straight leg. And an active forward bend, so just bring the hands in front of you. Keep the spine long so we're not rounding in. We're going to take a few breaths with the long spine. So getting that length through the base of the spine all the way up to the neck. And then just relax. Four more breaths. Just taking your time. Really connecting to your body. For our final round of breaths. We all breathe differently. So you may be doing a few more breaths than me or a few less breaths. So just go and as long as you're just making them even on both sides. And then let's come back to seated. And we're going to come round into down dog. So just moving that cushion, if you've been sitting on it, move to the side. Bring that leg back. Bring the hands. Nice support as we come up. And just step back into down dog. Good, releasing that right leg. And we'll get ready to switch sides. So coming down onto our knees, let's bring the left knee towards the wrist and then take the left ankle to the right wrist. Straighten that leg. Get a cushion if you need the support under here just to keep you lifted. A lot for you to sink into. It's just to give you that support. And then relax here. Stop letting go of the tension. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Four more rounds of breath. Just get that breath count going. Just getting those hips relaxed. Final round here. Just relax to the spine. Feel that tension. And then coming down onto our forearms again. Just take a few rounds of breath here. Keep the hips square again, making sure we're not sinking in either side. We're just staying nice and supported through our hips. Nice and square. Shoulders are relaxed. Our final round of breath. And in our next breath, we come up onto our hands and shift the weight onto the left side this time and bring that back leg through, right leg comes through, left leg just taking it over to the side. Have a nice straight leg, adjust your sit bones. <clears throat> and then gently start coming forward, still staying long through the top of your body. So we're gazing at our toe or at our ankle. If you need to soften the knees for your hamstring. And then just relax here with that length through the spine. Shoulders draw back as the spine lengthens forward. Four more rounds. Try 
allowing that navel then to release your spine just to give you a bit more space through the base of your spine. To be more round. So probably more or less just holding the poses for about 30 seconds. It's really about connecting to your breath and just staying tuned into your breath. Next breath. Next. We're going to shift into down dog one last time. So weight onto the left side, bring those hands down, root into your hands and step back into down dog. You can go into child's pose if you prefer. And if you feel you want to take a little bit of a flow here, then do come with me. Otherwise, stay here. Rooting down, noticing weight from the hands to the feet. And we're going to take a flow, shifting forward. Bring the knees down nice and soft. Scoop the chest through into a baby cobra, full cobra. Relax here just for a couple of breaths. And then come back into down dog. Let's all meet back there. And then we're going to sit on the mat. So bring the knees down and come and sit down on the mat. Again, if you're comfortable sitting on a cushion or just staying nice and just sitting on the floor. Knees crossed or you could be a butterfly or you could have your legs straight. We're going to come into a twist. So taking the right hand over to the left knee and then take the left hand behind. You want to try and get it if you can as close to you so you stay nice and tall. If you're taking it further back, just root down through the fingertips so you're pushing yourself forward and you're not falling back. We want a nice straight spine. And then the final bit, we start looking towards that back shoulder. Try and keep the hips square so we're not taking the twist from the hips, just taking the twist from the waist. Hips stay square with the gaze back. And we don't have to go into a full twist, just whatever feels comfortable for you. Again, this is always a practice, most of what we've been doing. We could just be doing it on a chair instead. If you're doing this, want to take a break in your lunch period or something, just doing it on your chair. And if that's a lot work, you could always take some time or just pick up some of the poses. Just to spend some time in this place. And then come back to center and let's switch sides. So taking left hand to the right knee as the right hand goes behind you, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, settle into that twist and continue with that long breath out. And hoping you brought it into the other side. Everybody is busy chatting. Let's take three more rounds of breath. Lengthen through the spine and relax as you exhale. Hips stay nice and square for our final round. And then release, coming back to center. Going to bring our feet into butterfly, into butterfly, so the soles of the feet. Then we're going to do a reclining butterfly. So having some space, ideally if you do have a cushion, just to put it underneath the small of your back to give you a nice back opener. But if you don't, no problem, just lie down back on the mat and just let yourselves relax. It's all about releasing tension, taking the arms to the sides, have those palms faced up, and connect those feet and just let the knees drop up. And then settle in for five long breaths. Maybe bringing in that breath count for one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Continuing.
Tu jau nav valsts plānis. Good. On the next breath, bring the knees up towards each other. And we're going to take our feet up towards the ceiling. So if you have a cushion under your back, just slide it underneath um, your sacrum. And then you can take your legs up and that gives you a little bit more support. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can still either place the hands underneath the sole of your back or underneath the sacrum. Or just relax on the mat. It doesn't really matter. Everything is just about relaxing and relieving tension. So just make yourself... And just get yourselves nicely relaxed. Take those feet and just let them relax so they don't need to be flexed or pointed. Just take a few moments here to settle in. And exhale. Four more rounds. Inhaling, two, three, four, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Bringing the legs back down. We're going to go into a supine spinal twist. So just soften the knees. Bring the feet onto the mat. Take cushion or block to the side if you've been using that. And we're going to straighten both legs. In fact, we'll come into a wide-legged um, twist. So just take the feet a little wider than your hips if you're on a mat that is wide as your mat. Tuck the tailbone slightly under, just so you're relaxing your spine. Take the arms out to the side, palms up, or even cactus arms, whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're going to drop the knees to the right. And then adjust your shoulders. And if you want to look to the left, or you can just continue looking straight up. So just for five breaths out here, take a big breath in, and then just relax into the twist, relax those shoulders down. Four more rounds. Let them go of your thoughts and just stay connected to your breath. Two more rounds. Final breath count for one, two, three. Four, exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Next breath, bring the neck to center, bring the legs up. Again, just shifting the space between your legs. And a nice big exhale as we drop the knees to the left, just our shoulders, and just look to the right. And just take a few moments to settle in. Nice long exhale. Four more breaths. Two more breaths, bringing in that breath count. Final breath. Good. Next breath. 
come back to center as you bring the head back up, bring the knees back up, bring those knees up towards your chest, take your arms around your legs, take one final long breath here, and then on the exhale to squeeze those legs into your abdomen, release your spine. You can either, especially if you're doing this in the evening and the practice, back in Shavasana with legs nice and straight with space and relaxed, arms out to the sides, palms facing up. Or you can join me and we can end our practice in seated meditation again. So taking our time, turning to one side as we come up, keeping the eyes closed or just gently soft eyes. And if you, especially if you've done this in the afternoon, just ending back here as we take a few moments to connect back to our bodies. If you are in Shavasana, maybe just setting a time of five minutes or so, so you can truly make the most of those wonderful last precious moments and that active rest of just letting go of thoughts. Just letting the body relax again, staying long through the spine. And just feel your body softening and relaxing. Noticing the breath. Exhaling. Just a few more breath counts. Inhaling for one, two, Three, four, exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhaling, three, four, exhaling. And you can continue with that breath count just for a little bit longer. And I will leave you here, thanking you for joining me and taking this time and sending you lots of love as we end this practice. Namaste, love and peace, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.